what's up you guys it's your girl baby back again i'm not gonna hold you i'm gonna make this super duper quick but i was googling myself today and i just found out that my articles that i put on um twitter because i Pop Culture News was on Twitter doing its thing. And as I realized that, I was looking through, again, like um, Googling myself. And I found that my article that I'd written on Snoop Dogg and this whole sexual assault issue that he had, whatever. I wrote this article on Snoop Dogg and I found out that my tweets were used as authenticated press to propel a message and I don't know I'm just like excited about that because it's like my real life tweet on here and I am linked to an article that was used in a national publication and so have you ever like been excited <sighs> So real quick, I'm gonna get real mushy on y'all, then I'm gonna let y'all go. Because when you first really start doing this kind of work and you dedicate yourself to your path, I mean, I'm a pop star rock star, okay? Keep talking tough and I'll pull your card. I know that, but y'all don't know that. Like y'all listening to the song and even though it's dope, somebody out there is still gonna be like, oh, well, somebody gonna always have something to say. And so if you tap into that, it'll make you lose your confidence. But baby, let me tell you something like looking at this, I was losing my confidence today. But looking at this, I'm like, bro, my confidence is straight to the moon right now. Like can't nothing knock me off my stride because me, Ebony Walter, snarky black girl, baby, young baby, I was used as a reference in an authenticated national publication because I'm dope I'm that bitch I'm a pop star rock star keep talking tough and I'll pull your card I'll block you hard I'll leave you standing outside on a Las Vegas Boulevard okay he'll take his mask off for of future but won't take a picture with me yes my Instagram is weak as fuck but I don't fuck for free this is why I don't fuck for free because baby girl puts in that work I'm a bad bitch and everybody knows it. I once got flowers from a complete stranger at the grocery store. And the person I was with made fun of the man for buying me these flowers. Uh, and so this is not to roast the haters or whatever, but to say that sometimes we as beautiful women have a great favor over us that the Lord has bestowed onto our lives. And those around you will take offense to that, to your favor. And so... You know, when I say this, you know, it's almost like that idea that the haters are going to say, well, why not me? I'm just as beautiful. I'm just as thick. My hair is just as pretty, whatever, whatever. But I want to say this to you, like, you know, it may make you feel bad to hear people respond to you in that type of way. Again, those ideas of like, you know, why not me? Why are you so special? Those flowers are stupid, you know, things like that. Um... But I want you to know that that's just the way that the enemy works. Like the devil works in confusion. And if someone around you that is that close to you that you love like that, if they're bringing in that sort of confusion in your life, is that really somebody that God has ordained to be around you? Or are they the enemy? Are they working on the other side of things? And so I want to say so bad to you guys out there like, okay, well, you know, stand up for yourself. You know, um, don't let those bullies get you down or whatever. But the truth of the matter is, is that bullies in situations like that are not going to ever go anywhere. As a matter of fact, the, the closer you get to the Lord and the closer you get to living in your truth, the more bullies you're going to end up coming across, the more haters you're going to end up coming across, the more people who are not, who are going to doubt you know, your motivations, who you are as a woman, who you are as a person. And so what I really want to say to that situation is, is that you guys need 
need to need to really rely heavily on what you know to be true about your own self you know if you know that you're living in your honest truth and your integrity and that this person just like me i was in the grocery store just shopping and living my own life and a total and complete stranger walked up to me and handed me a, a bouquet of flowers that he had just bought from the the florist in the store and so I knew that I hadn't been in there doing anything that was outside of overall and general integrity. And so I just let it go. You know, she laughed at me. She laughed at him. She made him feel stupid. She embarrassed me. But I smiled through it anyway, even though I was super duper ashamed and embarrassed, even though this person tried to shame me for for being the best version of myself. And so at the end of the day, though, I didn't respond to her. I didn't get mad at her. I just like let it go. And I know some people might look at that like it's cowardly or like it's stupid, but I'd rather be a coward and a stupid person than to battle and to fight against an accusation that doesn't truly exist. It's simply a, 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 a it's simply a figment of this person's jealous imagination. And so jealous imagination has no place in my heart and my soul because that is the opposite of my peace. And again, if the devil works in confusion and I want peace in my life, then there is no reason to engage in things that disrupt that particular peace. And so... I wanted to say that to you guys today because once again, this is not a down and out message. I don't want you to think like, oh, woe is me. This is never going to get better. But the higher you get in your integrity, the more you follow the Lord, the more you're going to realize that there are more people out there that are haters, that are just upset for no reason, that have pain in their own hurts. The more you begin to realize that, the more happy you'll be living your life and understanding your own truth. Because if you can face the world and not apply any of that hatred and negativity to other people you own your own sh you own your own stuff then you're going to end up seeing and finding that life ends up becoming a whole lot better for you your worldview will get a little bit bigger because you know how to appropriately navigate your own emotions and you know how to take the bad for the bad and you know how to make the good the good and you know how to also convert the bad to the good because everything is meant for your highest and greatest good okay what the devil meant for bad god meant for good and simply at the end of the day jealousy is simply unrealized admiration and so again i want you to, to smile through that i want you guys to know that it's not you it's not personal the person that is hating on you has probably got some type of deep hurt inside of themselves and once you can really own that truth you can own your time own your destiny and you will see spiritual elevation and spiritual elevation is simply peace it's joy it's living your best life unapologetically happy in spite of what the world wants you to think about your own self all right now you go out there and you have yourself a most blessed and precious and special day and if you can't have a good day don't you go out there messing up nobody else's all right